During the winter of 2001, the museum constructed 14 ponds in the Mentor Marsh State Nature Preserve. The wetlands were created with mitigation funds to provide amphibian habitats lost through development. Reintroduction of wood frogs and spotted salamanders, formerly part of the local herpetofauna, was an integral part of this project. Local biodiversity was enhanced as many local species colonized the wetlands and new species, those we had not detected previously, arrived to increase the complexity of the community. This image is pond number 12 from Mentor Marsh as it appeared in July 2001, the year of construction. Aquatic plants were beginning to colonize, several species of pond breeding amphibians were exploiting the new wetlands, and invertebrate biodiversity grew rapidly. Staff and student interns initiated an amphibian monitoring program. Here is pond number 12 in its seventh year, July 2007. A luxuriant aquatic plant community has developed which provides food resources and refuge for amphibians and invertebrates, including snails, the first or primary host for many parasitic trematodes or flukes. Adult salamanders, including a hybrid between the smallmouth and blue-spotted salamanders, use the mitigation ponds for mating and breeding during late winter and early spring. While conducting early August monitoring of amphibian larvae in 2005, salamander larvae with what appeared to be tumors were collected. During 2007, additional larvae were found with these tumors, and several were reared through transformation. Developing aquatic salamander larvae transformed to the terrestrial juvenile stage between mid-June and September. While in the larval stage, they may become infected with flukes. The motile, cercarial stage of the fluke burrows through the skin into the tissue, often causing developmental malformations. Amphibian larvae serve as the second host for flukes. This image shows a juvenile hybrid salamander infected with 27 flukes. After burrowing into the salamander, the flukes grow and form cysts. Each of the inflated or swollen areas on the salamander harbors a larval fluke, which is the same trematode species responsible for developmental anomalies noted in Minnesota where schoolchildren found unusually high number of frogs with abnormal numbers of legs and digits. This image shows stained metasarcaria extracted from a juvenile salamander. Metasicaria remain insisted until the juvenile or adult salamander is consumed by a bird or mammal, such as a heron or raccoon. Within the digestive tract of a warm-blooded predator, metasicaria develop into reproductive adult flukes. Eggs are produced, which leave the final or definitive host with the feces.